Kyle Saxena. I'm a gastroenterologist and international endoscopist at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney, Australia. I did my advanced endoscopy and research fellowship at Johns Hopkins Hospital, Baltimore, USA. I did this study with my colleagues at Johns Hopkins Hospital and the Cleveland Clinic, Ohio. The title of the study is Starlet's Low Pull versus Standard Suction for Endoscopic Ultrasound Guided Fine Needle Aspiration of Solid Pancreatic Lesions, a multi-centre randomised trial. Various techniques for performing EUS FNA have been described over the years. The Starlet's Low Pull technique is a relatively new one However, it is unknown whether the outcomes are better in terms of diagnostic sensitivity for pancreatic mass lesions. The aim of our study was to compare the sensitivity of EUS FNA when using the Starlet Slow Pull technique versus one of the standard methods using suction at 10 mils when performing EUS FNA for solid pancreatic mass lesions. Here is a demonstration of the Starlet Slow Pull technique. Here is a demonstration of the suction technique. In our study, we screened 147 consecutive patients who presented for EUS FNA of pancreatic mass lesions. Of these, 121 met the inclusion criteria, and they were randomised to either the Starlet Slow Pull technique or the Suction technique. The technical success rates were high in both groups, 97 and 98%. The sensitivity for diagnosis in the Starlet Slow Pull group was 82%, and was 62% in the suction group. However, there was no statistically significant difference between both groups. Also, the mean number of passes required for diagnosis was similar in both groups. So this study actually changed our practice in that we no longer use the slow pull technique and we continue to use the suction technique when doing FNA of pancreatic mass lesions. In summary, the starlet slow pull and suction techniques both offered high and comparable sensitivity rates when performing EUS FNA for the diagnosis of pancreatic mass lesions. They both required a mean number of two passes for diagnosis. Therefore, the endosonographer may choose either technique when performing EUS FNA.